This video was made possible by Envato Elements. Hello guys, we are back after a long break and today I wanted to take the chance and make it special. I will talk over the showcasing of my new pieces layers because it is much easier for me if I have a certain script to watch from time to time just because I don't want to lose my ideas. Before we start with the video, I want to introduce you to the sponsor Envato Elements. Envato is a huge stock assets website where you can find pretty much whatever you want. From stock photos to videos, graphics, templates for your own websites, fonts, brushes and a lot more. And here's the best thing about Envato. Not only the 3D section that we've mentioned previously in our past videos, but the graphics one, where you can find a lot of overlays. Just type smoke and you'll get tons of smoke overlays at your disposal. This applies to everything you are looking for. Also, they offer an annual plan of 40-50 euros per month, which is not much at all. It is such a good price for what the website has to offer. Of course, if you're a student, you can get the annual plan for 10 euros per month, because yes, Envato has a suitable program for all the students with a 30% discount. I'll drop my affiliate link down below, so every subscription that you guys take, I get a small part as well. This would help a lot. So probably you are wondering why I took a break from YouTube. Well, I stumbled upon many confrontations with my future as an artist in this industry and I decided in the end that I want to be a concept artist that has a main skill set, photo manipulation, digital painting and photo bash at his disposal. I'm really into combining all of them and find out what pops out on the canvas. For today's piece, I have measured my obsession with Tolkien's Lord of the Rings, most likely with the idea of Dragon from the Hobbit movie. What really inspired me was that scene between Bilbo and Smog. So watching that scene, the wheels of imagination open up and I kinda wanted to combine environment with a focus on the main characters. The reason why I didn't post more processes on the channel was that I felt hurried when doing that and sometimes I would miss the important elements that could help the artwork pop even more. Not even that, but usually when I was recording a process, I had to stick it with it till the end somehow and I didn't let me some room to breathe between the hours of creativity. Basically, with what I'm doing now, let's say that I can take a lot of breaks because they help a lot in noticing the small mistakes or anomalies that could happen in your work, when your eye gets used to it, of course. So guys, take a lot of breaks and it will help you improve your work. For me, it's more comfortable to showcase the layers while I'm talking over it. Before I started this piece, I wanted to focus a bit on sketching it with some rough composition and then I started to add things in. I wanted this scene to be cold and replace somehow the concept of Bilbo with a wizard because I just thought it was more cool, but you will see it soon. So about the mood of the scene, I wanted it to be bluish with a cold tone because I really enjoy these colors and I feel like I can produce high quality stuff with them, but of course purple and orange are also my favorites for representing certain scenes. You can notice that always I'm combining more photos to get the best result for a certain thing I want. For example, I wanted to have a rocky ground at the beginning but I changed my mind and I opted for some kind of a river or a lake. It's always a good choice to use more photos for one specific thing but never too much because you can agglomerate the scene and usually you have to keep things simple at the beginning and make a later choice if you'll overcomplicate it in the end. As you can see, I'm really paying attention to the background, which will be composed from some ruins out there. I'm a fan of old and ancient, it gives me that calm vibe and catches my eyes really quick. The dragon you see I've added is a stock image from Neostocks. Every time having access to premium stocks help uh, you with your ideas and you don't have to spend that much time looking for an image that you cannot find. Also, the other option is to paint whatever you can find out there. I most likely will photo bash it, but not in this video. For the wizard, I wanted something to look like Gandalf, at least a little bit. Then I manually painted the stuff and added uh, those lens flare over there because it is a great thing to have. It catches the eye a lot. Also, it's a wizard thing to produce light with his stuff.
and in the end I'm doing my usual adding a lot of colors, sticking lights and shadows, adding rain, filter gallery and blending things well. So we have reached the end of layers showcase, I will let you have the full image on the screen, don't forget to share this video with your friends guys, to subscribe if you didn't, to leave a like and a comment, and also hit the bell button to stay notified of my upcoming posts. And with all that mentioned, don't forget that any idea can become reality in Photoshop. See you next time.